Hi, my name is Mr. D and today I want to take a look at writing the equation of a circle. So we have write the equation of a circle with center 2 negative 4 that passes through the point A4. So when you're writing the equation of a circle you need two things. You need the center of the circle and you need to know the radius of the circle. So notice right away in the problem they told us that the center of this circle is 2 negative 4. So just remember the center is represented by the letters H and K in the following equation. So all you need to do is plug in H is equal to 2 and K is equal to negative 4. So when we're writing our answer here, notice all we need to do is instead of X minus H, H is going to be 2 in this case. And we're squaring X minus 2. And then we're doing Y minus K and K is equal to negative 4. And this quantity is being squared. And remember, this is equal to the radius squared. So this tells us we know when we have minus minus that's going to change to a plus. But now all we have to do is find the radius. But remember, the shortcut to plugging in the center is just change the signs. Instead of positive 2, you're going to have negative 2. Instead of negative 4, we're going to have minus minus, which turns to a positive 4 here. Okay, so our only objective is to find out what is our radius. But let's think, how do you find the radius of a circle? It's the distance from the center to a, point, to a point on the circle. So if we look here, notice we have the center and we have a point on the circle. We just have to find the distance between the two. So to do that, we're going to use the distance formula. And instead of using D, I'm going to use R to represent the radius. But it's equal to the square root of, and if you remember the equation, it's x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. So then really all you need to do is just define x1, y1, and x2, y2. So in the beginning of the problem, we could say that the center is our x1, y1. And this point could be our x2, y2. So all we have to do now is just plug in. So our radius is equal to the square root of, and now we've got x2 minus x1. So we have 8 is our x2 minus 2 squared plus, and now we've got y2 is 4 minus, don't forget the second negative, we've got 4 minus negative 4 squared here like this. But remember, when we have a minus minus, that's going to change to a plus. So right away in this step here, we can just say that this is plus. So then our radius is equal to, we have 6 squared for the first, plus, and we have 8 squared for the next one. So then for this step here, we've got 36 for 6 squared. 8 times 8 is 64, so 36 plus 64 is equal to 100. And notice, 100 is a perfect square. And the square root of 100 is 10. So then for this step here, notice, for the next line of our equation, we can replace the radius with 10. We've got x minus 2 squared plus y plus 4 squared is equal to... 10 squared here like this. And then remember, you want to simplify this because you're plugging in an actual number since the radius is equal to 10. We're doing 10 times 10 and 10 times 10 is 100. So this is our final answer. The equation of the circle with center 2, negative 4 passing through the point 8, 4 is x minus 2 squared plus y plus 4 squared is equal to 100. Okay, well this is going to conclude this video on writing the equation of a circle. Thank you all for watching and I hope that this was helpful.